Okay, so we just posted uh, this morning's video on how you can use the 8 Simrinko and the 5 Simrinko when they line up for ultimate trend confluence. You can see up here this previous short at this level. We went over this in our video, how that was a nice little short. We caught the rolling position traders again on the volume spike up here using an oscillator to pull in. That was an 18 S&P point potential run. Remember, you can use the oscillator below. I prefer the you know, you can use the magenta or the red below the red. A lot of traders use the magenta when it goes below 90%. That was your short right there at this level. At the low of this bar, of this candle, there's the oscillator that we provide on the workspace that goes below the 90. There's your volume spike. In a downtrend, we said we're mildly bearish because we're below the control point. And so, nice little 18-point S&P run. You can use the uni bars to pull in. We did not go over this in the last video, but you can do this. A Ninja Trader has a free uni bar you can download. I like to look at it where you use the uni. Um, so you had a volume spike or a short signal up at these two levels. The first level it hit at this level at 846. As you can see, is all green, did not pull us in. And then we had a volume spike here at... Um, at 848, these green boxes against ATR trend looking for a reversal. And we had a red um, uni that printed. So you have the fill is between 48 and a quarter. So 48 on an uni bar. So this is a fill using the uni. Or what you can do is you can use the oscillator over here down below. When we did have a red, here's your red uh, ATR dots there's the first green bars that printed you can see you bring the green box speed bars that printed you can see our magenta oscillator did not go below 90 percent still didn't go below and then it finally went below right here for a short and it moved a total of what you're looking at potential of 18 s p points so if you look at the low of this bar on the fill then it's 40 uh 48 and a quarter right there when it crossed below would be this bar the low of this candle or the low of this candle. So using the uni was a 48 and a quarter. Using this technique on the oscillators between 48 and a quarter if you're looking for a possible fill. So the low of this bar, there's your zone. So 47 and three quarters to 48 and a quarter should have been a fill in this short. Um, and you can use this. That's why I like using the uni. It's a very, very clean looking chart with um, our, our chart here also. Uh, because you are looking for a short side setup. All right, so um, right now we're looking for our ultimate eight Simrinko to start printing red dots for trend ultimate trend direction. We don't have that this morning. Then we'll want to see red dots print on the five sim, just like the video I just did in the previous video. That would be the ultimate trend confluence. But what I want to do in this video is momentum, how to trade a momentum chart. Now, I'm not showing it in this room because I want traders to focus on the eight and the five for entry when they both have both red dots or both green dots on the same chart and use a market profile uh, for setups. So what happens if the market goes really vertical? This is a momentum chart that we, we provide on our workspaces and you can put it anywhere in your own chart. Uh, the, the best way to use this chart is this, and it caught the major swings today, this morning already, is we have six zones. So typically right here we have one zone we like to trade off of. So our zone trade, when we both matched up red-red this morning, was there. So there was our zone trades right here. Here it hit our zone right there. That's a zone trade. That's a zone trade. So we know how to do that already. What happens if the market goes very quickly vertical with news? Let's say non-farm payroll, CPI, PPI, GDP, uh, the Fed, interest rates are now going up. So what happens when you get major possible moves in the market? What you can do is use our momentum chart we provide with our workspaces. What the momentum chart does is this. I have six, one, two, three, four, five, six zones that I put together. And the reason I do that is, is I want to see if I use this chart, I specifically use it for two reasons and two reasons only. So we know the normal way how to trade the system is this. Strictly look for zone trading when the opposite color speed bar goes against ATR trend. We know that. Everybody knows how to do that. Very effective system, and it, it's a neat way how to, how to capture reversals. 
However, what if the market goes very vertical? What do we do? What you can do is you can use this chart to gauge major possible reversals uh, with speed. We have all six, when all six uh, zones turn red, one, two, three, four, five, six, what you want to do is you want to look for the first speed bars to come in, the first offset color speed bars. This is typically where you're going to catch the wrongly positioned algorithms, wrongly positioned traders, the counter trend traders at a major, major possible top. We actually nicknamed this, I believe one of our traders came up with it, the moon chart. We call this the moon chart. Why? Because this chart can capture uh, really big potential gains in a relatively short potential time frame. So you have six to start printing. One, two, three, four, five, six. They all start printing. We don't look at the red speed bars. We look at the green when they start printing. One printed, two printed, three printed. Now we look for the oscillator, the magenta go below 90%. There's your entry right there. And that would be that level for the potential big move down. And so your fill is going to be low. This bar, this bar, 55, 50, uh, what was it? 55 potential all the way down to 40. That's a 15 S&P point move. I always tell traders you got two shots at it. You got a shot at a wave, wave three and a wave five. So you get two shots at it, it comes back up, and then we get another wave down, comes back up again, another wave down. The key for me is I want to see it turn all green or all red and look for the first, first one that fires off. So when they turn all green like this or all red, you look for the first retracement. So if I'm moving back up and I turn all green, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm looking for, here's my red speed bars, opposite color speed bars, one, two, three, four, five, six print, gives you time, head, heads up to look for, to pull yourself in. The oscillator goes above 90% of this bar. Like I said, you can use a different pull-in like a uni Rinko if you want to instead of using this oscillator below, totally up to you. But you can see the first wave, it catches that nice wave, and we get a big push up. Let's look at another six. So here's six to start printing again. So six print, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm looking for the first opposite color speed bars. Once I get the first opposite color speed bars, this is your best possible trade setup. Your oscillator go below, go below 90%, or you can use an uni Rinko like I like to use, up to you. Right there, there's your fill at the low of this bar. So your potential is, what was it? 62 and a quarter all the way down to 41, another 20 point S&P point move. You see my point, what we're trying to do, you look for all six. Now, what happens is this is our outer one. This is 62% retracement, our outer zone. Um, if you're in a chop market, this typically will cause, create the reversal. Uh, this, outer, this outer zone has never been hit. It typically likes to reverse. You don't have to do this trade, but a lot of traders are getting used to it. Uh, where you get these big giant runners, obviously it's a huge move, stopped in our zone. But we want to look for six again. Here's six. Let's see when the six starts printing. Here's our first six. Start printing at this level. Here's six. You want to get it in the beginning of the move. So they start printing all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, red speed bars, big volume spike, catching the rolling position traders. Right here. There's your swing. Let's look at the oscillator. Oscillator goes above 90% right there at that level. That gets you a fill at this level. And this is a huge S&P point move potential. We're talking about 10 all the way to 55. 45 point S&P point move from 12.08 to 12. In a matter of 30 minutes, you move uh, that big giant S&P point, uh, 40 plus S&P point move. Actually, it's larger, sorry. Um, you're looking at a 50-point S&P point move with a 12-tick stop. You had a 50-point S&P point move with a 12-tick possible stop. So that's what you get with this momentum chart. The momentum chart allows you to see when things get hot. So here again, we turn six right here. Mark goes vertical. We wait for the first um, speed, speed bars to come in, opposite color speed bars. Catches that big swing down there. You think that's a small move, but it's not. That's 15 all the way up to almost 25 S&P point move. Here again, you're allowed to take the second wave. 
I love the second wave. Oscillator pulls you in uh, magenta above 90%, and you get that nice move up again. Once again, we got six bars that go red. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the first opposite color magenta bar. My oscillator goes below 90%, catches this swing, another big possible move on the S&P. So I love the first, uh, uh, the first ones that come up, the first opposite color. So here again, if you look at it, there's six, gets swing, uh, wave three, wave five, nails it again. There's the outer oscillator all by itself that calls a high, my 62% retracement. The oscillator calls that below 90%, calls that swing high up there. So you can see the consistency. There's my 62% retracement. This is specifically built on this chart that we sent out with our workspaces. I love this outer retracement. 62% calls the high again. Oscillator pulls you in. So you get the thing, how I like to look at it. I like these deep retracements, and I like, um, I like these when they first turn all six green or all six red. Here again, we turn all six green, all six green here. Margin just starts cranking up, retraces to the shallow retracement, retraces to the shallow retracement, and then we get the speed bars that come in at that level. They come in and fire off, and the market just explodes to the upside. There was your oscillator that goes above 90%. You get my point of the consistency of the trade. There it is. There's your fill. High of this bar or high of this bar. So you're talking about 41 potential all the way to almost 60. That's 59. So you're looking, again, another possible almost 20 S&P point potential move. It's just you got to get on the first wave. Now, what you can do with this chart, another way I like to use this chart, let's say I do not get opposite color speed bars, but I come down and touch my shallow retracement. So I'm all six fire green, and I touch it here, and I touch it here. If your five Simrico is in the zone, these are great possible setups, and this happens a lot, called confluence. If that happens on the shallow zone, and you're in the zone on the five Simrico, you get these nice big punches to the upside also for confluence. All right, here's my outer level again, 62% retracement. If it's all by itself, call the low, you get a big push up. Now, you can use this to use for chop if I got opposite color yellow and opposite color green or red opposite up here. They're opposite each other. You're in an oscillating market. That means the market is in chop. You don't want to mess with it or try to buy the low, sell the highs. You know, so you see the consistency of the setup. This is an oscillating market. I got red on top. I got yellow and green on the bottom. What does that mean? You're not in trend. If you're not in trend, you're not going to get these big vertical moves. What, what does this mean? Chop, 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 chop. So this chart helps you out in chop markets also. Then we go back into six red again. Six red right here. They all start printing. Calls this swing high. The oscillator goes below 90% at this level. Right at that bar. And then you can see you get the continuation to the downside. So that's a great way to do it. Today it, it hit the 62%, almost to the tick for a W top. I mean an M top. So if you're trading the 62% that just hit, you can use this oscillator to pull you in. You can use, so what was it, 45 and a half? 45 and a half was the 62% retracement right there. You can see you can use the, the, the uni bar to pull yourself in, or you can use the shorter term oscillators to pull you in below 90% there also. All right, but that's how we like to use this chart. I typically leave it in here. I don't like traders getting confused with it, but I typically leave it right there in the room so you can see it. But that's how we want to do our momentum chart. Right now, we're not trending at all that we're in chop because, look, I got yellow bars over here showing no trend on my 5 sim Rico. I got no bars over here. I mean, no dots printing on my 8 sim. And then look at my momentum chart. Green on the bottom, red on the top. What does that tell me? We're in Chop City, right? Market's oscillating, right? We're in an oscillating market. We don't have six a degree on either side, and that's why it's oscillating. Cheryl, go ahead and shut that off. That is